Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. In this part, uh, t t turns out I got I made a mistake in the any of the previous video. Keep keep in mind it's a lot of parts, so sometimes I might make a mistake. So, uh, with You're recruiting kinds. someone else. Uh, mm. we're gonna yes. This part is once again all nothing but cutscenes because I'm sorry, not because it's all nothing but side quests because uh, there's a lot of sure. of uh, great stuff to show in the side quests that I want to show. Weird. Honestly, to me, it, honestly, I don't mind it. To me, it feels kind of like uh, at least I haven't played it yet, but. Yeah. Uh, with the, with the sequel, but uh, well, like in the first year, when uh, the side the side quests have enough interesting material for me to care about. Not just that, too. The, 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 the side quests are a big that. part of building your kingdom anyway, so it kind of makes we're sense for me to show them. I think what like... also helps for me is like, well, I mean, go here. I mean, okay, this is a story that doesn't feel like it has, you know, that limited a uh, direction. In a sense, like, well, yes, there's a main quest, but that main quest doesn't feel like it necessarily needs to take priority over the side quest. It's to me a nice balance, you know what I mean? Well, sure, yeah. you can do the main quest, but doing the side quest also helps further the story and, you know, developing Evan up as the king of a bigger nation. Not just that, yeah, I would argue... Oh, sorry, go ahead, Dwebs. Go ahead. We're going to recruit the most feared warrior in all of the land. Uh, oh, it's not just that, Jova. Like, I, I would argue... And I, but the way I played the game in my first playthrough on the PS4 was the moment side quests showed up, I would just do all of them. Um, and I honestly, and I, and personally, I prefer playing the game that way because you'll you'll get a lot more attachment not just to your kingdom but to the world of the game in general because you get to know uh, because most of the world building is done for the side quests and you get to meet a lot of, oh, yeah. of people forgot to see these side quests. Yeah. That's Before kind of my play style as well. Like, well, sometimes I have to do side quest stuff first and then do main quest stuff Not later. to mention like great rewards anyway, so go ahead. Unfortunately, unfortunately Tio, um, we'll get, we'll, we'll have to, we have to follow um, we have to follow some of the weird logic. And um, unfortunately, by the time we get to uh, the feared warrior, he's either dead or um, in not exactly in any fit state to fight. Are you referencing so something? So we're gonna have to. So we're gonna have to find his. We're gonna have to just borrow some, some random schmuck that happens to be sitting right next to him. Is that a reference to something that you're doing? What happened mm, before? Not particularly. All right. Anyway, um, since we already have a hunting lodge, I put Baru in there since it's the best at gathering. Basically, the yeah, hunting lodge is where you, you get her bone material. Bone yeah. materials. You reassign the the people in your buildings. Got to do that. Anyway, let's leave. But first, let me check something on the main menu. Local news: King deserts kingdom. <sighs> Don't worry, Dwebs. Evan would not do that. Gonna no, 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 that's what. That's what. Point disappear. Hey, hey, Pedro, Pedro, think about it. You know the kingdom that he was for that Evan was forced out of. Ding Dong Dell, yeah. Ding, ding, ding Dong Dell, yeah. yeah. Um, the local press will have obviously have been taken over now by the uh, by the bad guys. <laughs> so so they'll use their spin doctors to make Evan look like a complete coward. Hey, Dwebs, just bring up an interesting point. That would be an interesting angle, Dex. So All right, back to Goldpaw. Okay. Yeah, Aside but it's to, make, to ruin Evan's credibility. Yeah, yes, Pedro, who's uh, our next target, I guess? Going back to the the advantages of the side quests, uh, aside from the... We already got to know plenty a lot about Goldpaw thanks to the main story, but now we get to familiarize ourselves further with the citizens by doing these side quests, and you were about to meet uh, one of them as well. So just give me a moment. Actually, let me think. Am I going to do the... Um, the deliv no, actually, no, we're going to beat Persia now. Okay, Shira, get ready. Uh, here's one. Here's your character returning from the first part. Uh, your Majesty, why did we go into that weird side? Go ahead, Shira. Hello. Uh, Shira? Oh, okay. Evan. Oh, oh Evan. Goodness, you're all right. Yeah, so this is the, you might remember Persia as the maid that Persia. helped us back in the in Ding Dong when we were escaping. Yeah. It's she the princess of, princess of Persia. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you know, things have gotten rather hairy back at the castle. Ha! I had, I had to persuade a young man to hide me in his cart so that I could escape. The next thing I knew, here I was. Oh, gosh. Well, it's a relief to see that you're safe anyway. That's the thing, she's like Remalkin, isn't she? Yeah. And she's in a place full of dogs. <laughs> now, nah, fortunate, yeah. fortunate tale, dogs are pretty tolerant to if, uh, Grimalkin, from what we can see. Zero out of ten, totally not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy in a game uh... like this. <laughs> Go ahead, Shiri. This is my first experience of life in another kingdom, but it seems some things are the same wherever you go. 
That's okay. That's, that's wonderful important. to hear, by the way. I've started a new kingdom of my own. Uh, would you like to come and join <laughs> how, us there? How casual he said that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, Oh, by the way, just feel It's almost well, like he's asking well, remember, you well, to remember go for Teo. coffee or something. Well, remember, Teo, she was already serving him in Ding Dong Dell, so, uh, so of all people, she would be the more... I've already got, but I've already got a job here, Per, so you're fine. Uh, actually, oh, actually, you. there you go. That's what she says, actually. Very good, Whips. You seem to be very good at being in tone with the game's writing. Lady, oh, lady. <laughs> Don't be Actually, silly, I'm playing Lady Picking Geese. Don't be silly, Persia. The king himself has come to fetch you. I shall be sorry to see you go, but how could I possibly stop you? Hmm? See, well, well, see, well, Teo, well, dogs well, are nice. Well, <laughs> but, but Pedro, I said, I said, I said she'd be fired upon saying that. No, Lady Picking Geese is. <laughs> yeah, is yeah cool. like, no, no, no. What I was saying was, I was, I was saying, uh, but I've already got a job here. You're fired. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, Lady Picking Geese only asks one favor that she finishes off this one last piece of cloth that she has, she has finished. So we have to get her some thread, basically. I can go and get you some thread, Persia. Sure. Could you? Oh, okay. Um, that could be such a big help. For clumps of green clay cotton would be just great. Which I already have, so okay. Don't you mean it would be perfect? Well, written that way. <laughs> Persia, I might like no other. She has he the made sense the uh, scale, which means she's really good at the bazaar, which we have no one for the bazaar yet, so cool. Convenient. Alright. Make this side quest your active quest. Mm, no, what well, does it sure. mean by making it your active quest? Meaning uh, it creates an extra marker in the minimap there so you can see where the, where the side quests, where you're supposed to go to complete the side quest. Hey, Basi go right here a few steps ahead of you. Basically, notice how... Okay, notice the blue dot on the... On oh, I know, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, that's why I joked. Hey, go a few steps ahead of you, because that's all you have to do since you already got what you need. Basically, main quest stuff, yellow. Sides quest stuff, blue. Color-coded for your convenience. Keen. Here you are, Persia. I brought you all the green skate cotton that you need. I just happen to have them already. Indeed. Really, you did that for me? Aren't you wonderful? Um, I shall pay you back one hundredfold when I come to your kingdom. Yeah, she's yeah. actually yeah, she's actually the best. At the, she's she's actually the best bizarre person in the game. So that's cool. Sure. Now let me just sue this quilt. Let me just sew this quilt. So and, yeah. I'll, and I'll be ready to leave. Isn't it sue? It's in past. No, what? no, 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 no. It's oh, pronounced. No, 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 never mind. No, I I misread it. You're right. She was right. Yeah. Ignore me. It's it's one of those things that's spelt the same. <laughs> Excellent. Now I will be able to continue keeping my Steam customers with the comfort to which they have become accustomed. Yeah, Sue is spelt S U E. So yeah. is S E W. Thank you for all your hard work, Persia. Ha ha ha. My fortune favor you in your new home. <laughs> she sounds like she sounds like she's happy to see her go. <laughs> uh, well, that's not a thing. I I think what they're going for is that she's happy to see uh to see uh, her happy. going, basically. Persia can return back to, to uh, yeah. a, pl a place basically, where she feels like her home. Basically, yeah. everything. There, there we go. go. And we got three sardine sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Not All a right. fan of uh, non-fried fish. <laughs> Too bitter. I, I, I relate to Jova. Yeah. All right. I the prefer next, shellfish. Uh, oh, this is actually one of my favorite side quests because it's, an, it's a, quite an interesting misunderstanding. Uh, yes, okay. I've been running I'm, into a Oh world. god, I almost see through his mouth due to the clip. That, that, was, that, that, that was just me making a mistake. Go ahead, Shira. Hoi then. Oh. Get it? Hoi then. Ah. Anyway. I am looking for the one called Golden Warrior. Do you perhaps know who he is? What's mm, the Super love Sonic? child of... What's the love child of Ranma and Shenko doing here? I was going to say, uh... maybe, um... Maybe he could be here. <laughs> Crikey, there's a name and a half. I don't think I've heard it before, mine. Does anything else you can tell us about this warrior character? There you go, Dwebs. Your warrior uh, character actually is in the game, apparently. So... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Dwebs, um, quick. Uh, according to your story, where is this warrior character? Drunk in a pub. Mm. <laughs> Typical. Jerry? The true leader of men, and that he has blonde hair and pointy ears. Link, get it. I wonder. So it's Link. Oh, blonde hair and pointy ears, eh? Remind you of any one of them, my lad? 
<laughs> this goes on for some time. Doesn't Can ring I don't know, it could be either one of you two, honestly. Oh my Wait! That, that sounds like... M me! Jerry? Oh, uh, you are younger than I expected. But now you mention it, you do match the description. True. Alright, so, so do you have a. Let some me guess, uh, you, we need to prove our word. Look, I've never been. No, 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 she needs a. Uh, anything she, like that. Are you sure you aren't? There's a tainted monster bothering her people and she needs someone to take care of it too. Oh, that's why she needs the Golden Warrior. Okay. Go ahead, Golden Warrior, please come and save us, please. You are only hope. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cranky, she's probably bleeding with you, man. Sounds to me like she's in the right pickle. I love how he just said it. Cranky. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, like, well, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be able to I, help Yeah, this. like, I, I don't know who the actor is, but I love the I Let love the way he delivers it. the lines. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, like uh, Richard McCarney. What? Where did he? Where do you find all these Welsh actors? <laughs> do we know they the were just Welsh? Like the sheep, so like Odysseus. Hold on. Do we know the actors they Welsh? They just pulled them just, off uh, the farms one by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The actors Welsh. Well, wait, sorry, Joe. Just listen to him. He's clearly Welsh. I mean. Well, I mean, so I've heard plenty of people from other nations be able to do good. Oh, yeah, cons Wayne considering Arfer. it's this team, I'm pretty sure it's a Welsh character. A Welsh, a Welsh Let actor. Let me check who yeah. was he did. Oh, Wayne Arfer. That is a Welsh name. Anyway, go ahead, Shira, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of It was always a peaceful time. place to live, until recently that... Monster is. came, that's all you need to know, go ahead. Yeah. What is more, most of the adults who live there work in the parts of... work in other parts of the kingdom. Only children and old people remain, so they kind of left us in the shitter, really. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> kinda! They cannot hope to defend themselves. That is poor planning! Okay, they obviously need to move in the bus to learn somebody who knows how to run some security! <laughs> I to find someone, anyone who could assist us in our hour of need. And I have found you. Please, you must come and help us. So the legendary warrior for a bunch of dogs is a cat. <laughs> uh, all the irony. The irony indeed. Indeed. Uh, oh, it's okay. You're right, Lofty. There's only one thing for it. We're going to have to step into the breach. Don't worry, miss. We'll take care of this. We shall fight on the beaches. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll get my stormtroopers for the job. It's actually not. Um, it's not a skirmish. Is Evan but, the, yeah. is, 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 is Evan the is Evan the is Evan the leader of his new kingdom or the Third Reich? <laughs> no, that's from rampaging through our neighborhood. That's not a good analogy you want to go for. Well, okay. That's the one Jovi used. Wait, no, no, no. It's like, I was talking about like stormtroopers. Uh, I mean, I know that the stormtroopers are obviously an allegory for the It's first like life, that nursery rhyme that Kadikros covers says, If all men in the world were one when, but what a great man that would be. All right. Um, hang on, Sorry. Oiden. Oh, yes. I she has call the... she's a martial artist. She has the outdoorsiness skill, which makes her a natural for the Explorer's Guild, which is one of my personal favorite facilities, so cool. Right. Oi, nice. then uh, the Explorella. And, and holy cow, and holy cow, I called it. She is the love child of Shinko and Rama with that hairdo and that outfit. Well, to be fair, Jove, I think it's a traditional hairstyles mm -hmm. and uh, uh, clove for the traveling monks, at least uh, for it's a not specific just that, time it's period. A, it, it's also the color scheme in the face, though. Anyway, oh, the awakening effect of the golden balls. Every once in a while, Lofty will throw you a golden ball. <laughs> Much like Drippy in the first game, Lofty will help you in battle throwing balls. Uh, green balls for Elf, blue balls for um, MP, and yellow balls for and golden balls for uh, awakening skills. Which basically uh, it makes I, your yes, yeah, Drips. The way you're saying it. Get Is your there a golden shower to go with that? that? Way. <laughs> no, sorry. But I get what you mean. Green are for HP, right. blue for the EM, the MP, and the golden ones for the special technique. Basically, uh, it allows you to basically it makes your MP infinite for a few seconds, and it allows you to. Uh, and while you're and while you're in that state, you, all of your attacks will do maximum damage. Yeah, just like I said, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Roland gets infinite bullets, so that will make cry style. <laughs> Lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me check if something is going on. All right, the next gameplay. Might as well uh, so tell. So the monster we're supposed to kill is this one, Mortimer, the skeleton. Okay. Oh, so it's uh, okay. Basically, this Owain Arthur guy has mostly done TV series. Uh, uh, he's mostly known for something called uh, Hard Sun. Casualty, 
Percy oh, Fox, there you go. You, Another you character from Casualty. <laughs> Bobby yeah. Long, uh, uh, well, the well, Palace. Uh, I well, don't know any of these, actually. Well, Pedro, Casualty's been going on for 32 years. It was just kind of inevitable we've run into Nino some of these. Nino Kuni predictably is his only video game role at this moment. Uh, Tio. Tio. Well, she's Uh, Tio. Yes, Um, On his IMDb page, what year does it say next to, next to Casualty? Uh, from 2008 to 2018, he plays a character called Glenn Thomas slash S.I. Chesterton. Ah, so he was there. So he was there while the show was still in Bristol, and then when it moved to Cardiff. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, here's a tight fit Cadburn. All right then. The and oh, it's, it's, it's right there. Over. Jesus, that's menacing. All right. Lovely. Then. Not enough ideograms, it's not menacing enough. Oh! It's, um... Yeah, the river yeah. Jova. All the, the things official term is Skeptoplasm. Spectoplasm. I've seen this kind of monster before somewhere. Yeah, yeah, remember, we attacked as soon as uh, the coup, uh, the coup yeah. d'etat happened. This is a giant version of it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, uh, non-threatening due to how goofy it is. It reminds me of I know, the right? Daniel Fortis cube. <laughs> again, again, again. It's always funny when you hear these tragic stories and all these monsters, and then you see some of these goofy-looking guys like, hey, I guess a visual location where reality is. My family. I guess. Or, yes, Jova, yeah. good. Or this silly-looking skeleton is ravaging my village. Fuck, missed. <laughs> well, Jova, I guess this is a situation of reality ensues, and basically an actual skeleton revived from the dead is not uh, that versatile moving as it was with muscles and everything. Basically, mm -hmm. you might have noticed how when I blocked the trip, that's because if you manage to block an a, 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 a chain of attacks that's coming... Um, he goes into Smash Bros. Brawl mode. He, he will trip, uh. he, he, like it would make him trip, because uh, he didn't expect it, so... Makes sense. There's... <laughs> Really? Of course, you weren't wrong about that monster being a new sense in bloody bloody. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm sure Hoyden will be happy to know that it won't be troubling her people anymore. Now we just need to persuade her that I'm not the Golden Warrior, and why am I even saying that? I mean, you pretty much did what the Golden because, Warrior is supposed to do, so... Because Evan is honest, I'm and he doesn't... Because Evan is honest, and he doesn't want to take no, no, credit. No, 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 no. I mean, honestly, he's got that for you, fam. Because essentially, he fulfilled the prophecy, so he is the Golden Warrior. It's interesting you say that, uh, Joe, because uh, Lofty agrees with you, but as he says... Yeah, yeah, I believe after and all that. Fair dues, we'll swerve a tray. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, Evan, saying you're not the Golden Warrior would be more a lie than truth, though, so you're kind of falling into a double paradox there. Well, technically, he never admitted to being the Golden Warrior. He just went and helped her. Exactly. So why even bother trying to convince her? I mean, just say I did a job. Well, I, I think it's a case really of stunned. humbleness, Jova. He doesn't want uh, to be named by Italo. He just, knows, he just doesn't need that particular reason to help someone else. Uh. Choo -choo -choo, I'm just saying, he may end up doing more work than he's expected trying to convince Well, he's still a point. child, Jova. Well, it's, like it's, like, it, well, it's like Zidane in Final Fantasy yeah, yeah, says... Yeah, do I need a reason to help someone? Yeah. It's a uh, good move. <laughs> okay. So, what do you need to do to Hard give to this particular wool. one? If I remember correctly, it's hardwearing wool, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's the item with the best quality I get. Uh, no, 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 it has to be the, specifically the one he desc it describes. Oh. No, uh. like, uh, quality of item has nothing to do with it. Okay, then. Boop. Alright, let's see. Go then. ahead, Jova. Oh, sorry, this is the narration. <laughs> you try offering up. up blah, blah, blah. Go ahead. Well go. done, Travel. This is what I mean. That's the greatest offering that I've ever seen. Now, that shit was great as Lassity Free. But now, come on, I'll let you see. The Higgledy hidden inside comes out. Uh, what time are you going, sir? Go to 1930. Okay. And he's a fire Higgledy with Fruity five fire the, spouts. Froom is the flammable, yeah. Uh, 1932. Okay, that looks flammable. Yeah, sorry, I can <laughs> do a good Mark Hamill voice. That looks flammable. Yeah, there you go. There you go then. All, All right, right. so Fear is, we'll add Fear is in the flammable to our party because it's a really good fire All right, type. Leaves, they uh, be, uh, click. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, Fear is a flammable is a really good fire Higgledy, so we'll be adding him to our party. Basically, we can only have a maximum of four Higgledies per, per party at once. Running around. <laughs> But of course. Away with your exclamation points, as usual. Uh, My OCD takes, always takes over me. 
Ah, uh, don't blame you, I do that also a lot of time. Might as well, let me check what other, uh, the other actors at this point, what they're doing. Well, we know, well, we're, 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 well, the, well, there's already established that the actress playing Evan was the one who played Amelia in the Layton movie. Um, so now instead of checking Jared Zeus, the one of Ronan. Oh, he was in Quantum Break! <laughs> that, that poor <laughs> man. I, I, well, I well, at least he managed to, voice. well, at least he managed to move up in his career, at least. <laughs> So who was he in that game? Uh, it, it, this guy instead has a lot of video game roles. Uh, in Quantum Break, I think he was the narrator. Weirdly enough, wait, he was in. But, he, but the narrator is. But na the narrator is Sean Ashmore, aka. He, he's only stated uh, video game voice, and I don't remember. It, oh. it, NPC, NP, no, no. Uh, NPC voices are stated as additional voices, so I don't know what this specific means unless it's uncredited. It's just there. I think I know what he's talking about. He's probably talking about like, well, any about the narration that weren't being told by Jack. But I don't remember. I think it's right. Player is right. We don't know exactly. But whatever. I'm gossiping over. He was. He's. He has a lot of roles in video game ever since 2015. Uh, he's in Pillars of Eternity 2, Spells for Three. He was in. Yeah, oh, he's right. It's on Zero Dawn. Who was it? Oh, did it. Okay. He was in Steep Battlefield One. The Division, Star Wars Battlefront, and Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero Live, Lego Dimensions. Oh, it was... Wait, he was the protagonist of Soma? Didn't recognize that. So basically right, he's a new talent. And he's specialized in video games. He had some minor roles Go in ahead. 2001 and 2003, but that's it. We took care of that monster, Hoyden! Aren't you sure. right? I knew it. I knew the Golden Warrior would save us. Yeah, about that. Yes, about this golden lawyer thing. Uh, I'm not exactly. I'm not. And actually... here he is. The a all right, oh. Jova, that's you. The I'm sorry to. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard that there was a young lady looking for me. It's not you, perhaps. Too late, Complete asshole. <laughs> Completely shining. <laughs> oh my god! I thought Where that. Where the hell have you been? Sure. Oh. Uh... Are you... To be Looks fair, like this was just warm. a plain misunderstanding. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> the Let's end on a freeze frame. <laughs> well, some call me by that name, yes, but I prefer your P. Brandoid's <laughs> nicknames are beneath a general of the army of gold. <laughs> That's right, the he's actually the general of Gold Paw's army. Which makes sense for him to be called Gold Warrior. I'm sorry, I didn't make this carrier on, but... I'm not the Golden Warrior, he is. Pete. <laughs> Whoopsie! Blonde hair, pointy ears. Oh! I mean, she I just had... just for the lighting, but that looks more like brown. I know, brown. I was. Blonde. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe it's just, again, maybe it's just because he's in the shadows. It's in, yeah. Well, it could be the lighting, because if you look oh. at the. Well, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sir, but you are. You're or maybe fine. it's just, well, to be fair, boy, maybe it's just the description that is faulty anyway. True, true, perhaps. Is it true? Are you the master of all? Well, it's, it's, basically, he's, the, he's a big legendary soldier in Gold Pop. I would know. not go that far, but yes, it seems that I might be on to something here. Quite not <laughs> that it seems that my services are required any longer. Gold Pop thanks you, King Evan. Oh, God, so the Golden Warrior is going to come work for us. Uh, eventually, My yes. That I could not uh, assist you in your hour of need. Good call, yeah. Jova. Eventually, yes, but way later in the game, though. He strikes me with yeah, of one course. of those commanders that you can have for skirmishes. Although I gotta say, I gotta say though. Um, so what is like requesting okay, military okay, assistance like the equivalent of being put on hold here because he kind of took a while to get to the, much. the village. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Why are you thanking him? We already did his job. No, no, don't worry, he's... She, there you go. Should we? I cannot believe it. What a foolish error to make. Um... In jumping jump, to the wrong... In jumping to the wrong conclusion, I put you in terrible danger. It's almost as... Ah, it's okay. Way. I'm a JRPG protagonist. It's kind of... I think he's been through worse already. <laughs> yeah, I'm a J... Go ahead. Oh. And what is more, I fail to recognize you as the King of Evermore. You are the one who is building a great new nation, yes? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been posting about it all the time in Leafbook. True. Are you on Leafbook? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, you've heard of what we've been doing, that's wonderful! Um, would you like to join our betting society? The whole internet knows what you've been doing. 
<laughs> they knew before your game even began, thanks to uh, certain press conferences. But all is well that ends well. Our people are safe, and um, all is thank and all is thanks to you. you. I'm in your debt, uh, King Evan. Allow me to come to your kingdom and do what I can in return. Of all course, right. you'll stay. Of course, I'll think about this. It's it's like help me save my kingdom. Okay, cool. Now join mine. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you saved my kingdom. Now I will join your kingdom. Well, technically, it was supposed to save her village, not the kingdom in general. But yeah. Well, it's a sense, you know, a section of land. All the same, like, is she gonna bring the other people from the village with her? It's just a uh, funny thing actually, to think she of. actually does. She have no. Actually, no. She's not one of the. Um, she doesn't have a eh? skirmish troop. Never mind. Wait. Oh, let me get some. When it comes to recruiting, it's just for single people, I guess. Uh, uh, the only major change. Some yeah, people no, I, have the way it works, Tail. The way it works, Tail. Some citizens actually have their own skirmish troops that you can add. Uh, yeah, not like yet, though. Uh, like and we got improved foraging techniques. This will be able to get us better materials. All right. Uh, since uh, Hoi then is be uh, best here, we can replace her with. Uh, hold on. There you go. Hoi then is actually better than. than yeah, Kumbish. she's a martial artist, so. I can't. She, I don't think that helps necessarily with skirmishes, but that helps with something. She has the outdoorsiness um, skill, meaning she's just out for the explorers guild, which again uh, basically allows me to get her better item related. Um, she has. Uh, you can say she's a woman of multiple trades, I guess. Now, when it comes to you know, like, well, what their occupation is, like, well, her occupation is listed as martial artist. Does that have any bearing on anything, or no. do you just focus on the skill? No. Um, sometimes the the, the the occupation of the character can be reflected in the story or side quest so that you're often doing. More than not, it's it, just for show when it comes to, you know, the actual kingdom building. More often than not, it's mostly just for the sake of, you know, adding a bit of a little bit of info to about the individual, I guess. So oh, That's okay. It can. Shame, though, it, 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 mean, does, it does come into play into sometimes, though. Like for example, security guard. There's a security guard side quest where we actually do you see, like we actually talk about his job, about it, and shit. So it does come into play sometimes. Sort of a shame, though. I could have seen them doing even more with that. I mean, it doesn't, you know, ruin anything. It's just like, well, I could have seen them also adding a bit of an extra layer to that. Sure. But I mean, who knows? Maybe from Nino Kuni. Oh, goody, bios. Yeah, let's check Persia's bio. Um, a, miss, a maid servant from Ding Dong Dell who worked with Aranella for many years. She started working at the castle because of the job, came with regular meals and oh, and a place to sleep. <laughs> like a cat would do for meals. <laughs> but she soon turned out to be a born domestic service professional. Now let's check Hoi So, then. Shiroi, maybe Valentine. Oh, there you go, Jova. An expert martial um, artist who grew up in a village just outside Goldpaw. There you go, Jova. She didn't train in order to fight others, but to hone her body and mind. She approaches everything in a serious and dedicated manner, especially gambling. Uh, <laughs> well, she is a Goldpaw uh, citizen, so... Like I said, though... Like I said, though, she definitely looks like she's the love child of Ramu and Hichenko. Now All I right. just gotta think of how let's that change, works. Just, just checking the tactic tweaker. And the party seems to be fine. All right, everybody. In the, oh, we're actually we're almost done. Uh, what do I do next? Oh, I, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the Higglories and level up our our Eagledies. In fact, I haven't checked right. the Flammables bio yet. So hold on. Uh, in the meantime, what I searched was that a Higgledy uh, who embodies the fiery power of nature and all its volcanic eruptions, spouting in glory. Its beliefs came into being after being an, an ancient kingmaker of Ding Dong Dell, breathed pure flame. But its inability to use fire magic himself makes it seem well. Yeah, Dod dodgy. Go, go ahead, the tale you were saying. No, no, I was just saying that I checked in the meantime a uh, couple of the other voice actors. The one for Tani has yeah. almost done any, hasn't done anything. She, she the, only no cover, other, yeah. the only yeah. The only other major role apparently something in, in Spirit. Uh, which I don't even know Richard what it Mar is. The uh, movie? Richard Mark, uh, the, ad the English voice actress for Cat uh, is also a newcomer, so I, I get the feeling Richard really likes sticking bets on newcomers. Question to you, which spirit are we talking about? Uh, something in 2018, label drama music. Never Director heard of Director Max Minghella, writer Max Minghella, stars uh, Elle Fanning, Millie Brady, Jordan Stephens. Alright everybody, oh. in the next part, if I remember correctly, we'll do a couple more side quests, but after that we're back to the main story. Alright then, see ya. Mm -hmm. see, ya. Right, see ya. See ya. See ya.